Welcome to my skin locker. My name is Ira and today's video is going to be all about a certain products that have really helped me a lot in you know just getting rid of not exactly getting rid of but uh, uh, tame down the hyperpigmentation that I have on my face right now which is very very evident in this video because I'm not covering them up in any which ways this is what my skin is at the moment and I'm going to uh, share with you some of the products that have really helped me to uh, get my skin uh, on the stage it is at right now so if you're interested then just keep on watching now as my skin is healing uh, I've divided my skincare into two uh, aspects like for the morning and the evening the morning is more targeted towards the preventative uh, measures like uh, the products which would really help me prevent from getting any more acne on my face and uh, nights are for more potent uh, targeted uh, treatments with for the hyperpigmentation uh, situation going on here without making this video an hour long let me just pull out my first product for you guys which is this serum from Dermalogica so this is Dermalogica's age bright clearing serum so it is a basically a salicylic acid based serum uh, with niacinamide in it which is the second ingredient after a water so I'm assuming that it has a good uh, hefty dose of niacinamide in here for me niacinamide is something that I'm very cautious about when I use it and how I use it in a routine because generally the higher concentration of niacinamide does not work for my skin I am someone who is happy with like around 5% niacinamide in a routine more than that uh, leads to purging but this serum has really solved that purpose it has really really beautifully formulated this serum has really really helped me to keep uh, my active uh, acne at check uh, ever since I've started uh, using this product I've noticed a fewer breakouts it's not a magic potion it is not something that is going to clear off your skin in one go uh, it is not uh, I'm not saying that it is a product that uh, has magically transformed my skin and I do not get any more breakouts I do at times but uh, this serum really helps to you know tame them faster the it also uh, helps me to uh, you know just keep the redness uh, at check so for redness and active breakouts this is a really good product and I've been really impressed. It has a very watery texture. Uh, as you can see, it dripping down my hand. Uh, the texture is very watery, but it feels uh, a little oily uh, when you start rubbing it uh, onto your skin initially. But uh, there is no greasiness or stickiness or tackiness. Uh, once it absorbs into the skin. Apart from niacinamide and salicylic acid, it also has various uh, oils in here like uh, lemon peel oil, lavender oil and all that um, bunch. It also has a few perfuming agents. So if fragrance and uh, essential oils are something that you do not like, then this is one thing that you should keep in mind. But for me personally, I've never had any issues with essential oils or fragrance in my skincare in general. Uh, and this is no exception. Like, it has not irritated my skin in any which ways. Uh, rather, it has done the complete opposite. It has really helped me to deal with the clogged pores issues as well. So, this is a real beautiful uh, product. It feels so light on skin. Uh, it does not interfere with any other product that I layer upon it. So as for the application, I apply this serum uh, once a day, that is in the morning, right after my toner. I take uh, three do drops of uh, this product on my face and rub it into my skin. Uh, so it is a really beautiful uh, serum out there. Uh, it is not one of the very budget friendly options, I agree, but if you can, uh, but if you love skincare and you can shelve uh, 
your money on something like this then i would highly highly recommend that you do especially if you are acne prone dealing with hyperpigmentation or oily skin like this is a beautiful product out there uh, moving on uh, i have another one of my very very favorite and loved product and it is from the brand called Cess Derma. It is their Azelic Acid Serum with Tranexamic Acid. Uh, this is like my very favorite uh, product from the brand. Uh, out of all the products that I'm showing you in this video, if you have to get just one, then this one would be my choice. Generally, I follow the maximum effects per layer kind of rule when it comes to my skincare. So I always look out for products that have combined active ingredients in them uh, without any uh, needless uh, junk in the formulation. And this product right here is just brilliant in that aspect. I've done a full detailed review of this product here. You can definitely go and check that out. I do not want to waste any more minute on it but like I'm saying it again and again it is a brilliant brilliant serum and it definitely works on scars and the beauty of this product is that you can layer it under your retinol products. I have been using this product with my 0.5% retinoin in the past and I have had absolute no irritations with it whatsoever. So if you want to know more about this particular one, uh, definitely go and check that video out. Next up, I have yet another product from Sesdama. Sesdama has definitely been one of my very favorite brands. I've always liked the products that I've tried out from them. So this one is fairly new. I've only been using it for about a month, but I've seen such a major difference in my skin from this one as well. It is a uh, their vitamin C serum that has ethyl ascorbic acid as its uh, vitamin C ingredient. It is a beautiful lightweight serum. Uh, it has this yellowish um, tinge to it. It absorbs very well into the skin and hydrates it beautifully. For me personally, derivative vitamin c derivatives have worked beautifully on my skin than the pure gold standard l-scorbic acid l-scorbic acid has always been a little too irritating for my skin especially if it is on the higher levels of concentrations and this particular derivative the ethyl ascorbic acid has really helped me to see a noticeable difference in skin brightening and uh, you know that even tone kind of a look it has really helped me a lot in that aspect so apart from methyl ascorbic acid this product also contains sodium hyaluronate it has glycerin it has vitamin e it has retinyl uh, retinyl palmitate i'm sorry and the only reason i'm using this product at night and not during the day is because uh, as I'm saying, my skin is on its healing journey and I do not want to overload it with various actives in one go. So as of now, I'm really liking this. It has not given me any sensitivity or so. And it is like, as I just said, one of very few vitamin C based serums that have really shown uh, its results on my skin. So I'm really looking forward to it and would definitely get back to you once I get to use it a bit more. The last active for the night time is the one present in this uh, particular night cream and it is a retinal dehyde. So this particular product is from the brand called Eben and it is their triacnel export emulsion. It has this thick creamy uh, texture but glides onto the skin very very beautifully once you start rubbing it. Uh, so this product by Evan is basically targeted uh, for people who are dealing with stubborn acne and residual marks uh, which is which fits the bill perfectly for me. Being a broken record about my healing skin I'm not using any products which I know might irritate my skin uh, so I'm not using my retin-a as of now so instead of that a proper retin-a cream I'm using something like this which has a retinal dehyde and which also helps me to deal with the 
marks and stubborn acne uh, basically if I have any active acne is happening on my skin uh, this particular serum and uh, in the morning and this at night really helps to calm them all down and you know just uh, makes the healing process a lot more faster whereas the azlic and the vitamin c uh, deals with the hyperpigmentation issues so uh, that being said uh, this is a very good uh, product from Evan, which is not very expensive also uh, it contains glycerin it contains uh, retinal dehyde like i said uh, it contains various emollients which really help to you know uh, get my skin into a comfortable state at night and prepare it for the next day uh, it uh, does however has fragrance in here so if you are someone who does not like that then that is something that should be kept in mind but apart from that this product too has not uh, irritated my skin in any which ways and it is kind of helping it right now so that's about it for this video if you have any more questions or queries about any of these products then please do let me know in the comments box below and I will try to help out to the best of my abilities it's now time for me to say goodbye and I see you all in my next video till then Take care, have a good day and...